It's a story about a girl who, when her mother, she finds her mother dead, and over, she's cut her wrists in the bath. And from that day on, she finds that nothing in her life was as she thought it was. Um, the man she thought was her loving father turns out to not be at all that way. And she has to go on a journey to discover stuff about her mother, which she does through the help of a diary that she finds amongst her mother's things. Um, of course, there's some love interest and everything, but basically it's a kind of a mystery thriller type book. Not a historical one like some other my other books. But if any of you would like to ask me questions about either this one or any of my books, you're very welcome. Alguém tem alguma pergunta? So I would like to know um, where do you get uh, the idea from uh, to, to build those characters? Um, I well, I suppose I'm quite strong. My mother died when I was young and I was in an orphanage for several years. Um, I had problems at school because I couldn't read until I was 10. And I had a very clever brother, so I was always put down as being thick. Um, so I started off, I was also no good at sport. The only thing I was good at was darning socks and telling lies. I used to be a very good liar. That started me on my road to writing books, I think. So, and then I left home at 15 and I had to fend for myself and I did all sorts of things. And I don't feel sorry for myself at all, but um, I did have to do things which I wouldn't want my girls to have to do. And I think that gives you an insight into what women will do if they have to, you know, be that like in Belle who has to be a prostitute or, or whatever. I never went down that road. My sister once said to me, please tell me, Leslie, you haven't done that. And I said, well, you know, I, I'm too gormless to ask men for money. So I left, <laughs> left her with the idea that I might have done. <laughs> that I didn't. And I'm sure that you met a, a lot of brave women in that path also. Yes, over the years, yes. Um, of course, I do a, a, a Woman of Courage Award in England, and through that I've met many women, that, and we're, we've got one here now in Portugal as well. Um, inspirational people who've overcome hardships, but I actually sometimes think that a little bit of hardship in your youth is good for you. That the people, my children, are all very weak. I, my youngest is the toughest, she's a nurse, but the other two, They're like jellyfish, you know, um, and I wonder why, and perhaps, perhaps I ought to have beaten them regularly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess you have to know hell to meet Evan. S sorry? And I guess you, you have to know hell to meet Evan yes, afterwards. Yes, this is true, yes. Um, yes, certainly, I don't think, unless you've had a lot of suffering in your life, yeah you don't really understand what real joy is because they're two, the two sides of the same coin, really. Exactly. You know, I lost a baby just after he was born. And um, the joy when I had Lucy, my oldest daughter, I'm sure was six times more than the average mother who's had normal births and everything's gone fine. Um, she drives me mad now at 42, but, you know, she, I thought I'd been given the sun, the moon and the stars at the time. And I think we all ought to be glad when things turn out good and not be too upset when things go wrong, you know, that maybe it's something, you're learning something. Yeah. Somebody else like to ask me something? I don't know if this question is too private, but the, the, the story about Belle, that girl that was kidnapped, uh, she kind of gets lost in the middle of the book and turns into a kind of bad girl. Was that about your own story? Did you inspire on it? I think my own personality inspired that because I think if you have to do something horrible like be a prostitute, you might just as well be the best one there is. You know, <laughs> that to me is using your, your noddle, you know, using your head. 
If you can't get out of something, you might as well just do it with the best grace you possibly can. Um, I don't think Belle ever intended to go that far, and you know she was forced, forced into an awful situation. But you've also got to remember, at that time, in the early 1900s, it was so common that you know, any woman who couldn't feed her baby or had fallen on hard times, even quite respectable, outwardly respectable women turned towards prostitution. It was the one day, one way you could make some money. So I don't think people looked on it down on it quite so much as we would now or back a few years ago. But no, I haven't gone I haven't gone down that road myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm too old now. Nobody'd want me.